Hello. Well, today is July the 4th. The girls will be getting dressed up soon for it. Right now they're trying to take a nap with me before I start dressing them up and after I've read to you. You can see them here right next to me. That's Pippa cleaning her giraffe. There's Liberty cleaning her giraffe. And over here, Ebony is fast asleep. You can see Ebony. Then I'll begin. Today we're on chapter, I Love to Eat. Still from book one, The Diaries of Liberty the Pug. I'm Barb, I'm the author. Liberty is my co-author and the star of these books. Today we're reading, I Love to Eat. I'm going to begin. I am enjoying baby carrots for my snack today. Carrots are sweet and crunchy. They make my teeth feel clean. I also like eating apples, sweet potatoes and green beans. Sometimes for a treat, mum gives me lactose-free milk. Most dogs cannot digest regular milk. Mum reads books about the foods I can eat and the foods I should not eat. Dogs should never eat chocolate raisins and sugar cookies. These things would make them very sick. I have a small shallow bowl for my food because a pug's face like mine is large and flat. If I have a big deep bowl, my eyes touch the side of the bowl when I eat. A large water bowl is okay because I do not put my whole face in the water. I only stick my tongue in the water dish to lap up the water. Mum and Daddy check that my water bowl is filled with fresh water every day. I give Mum and Daddy lots of kisses for my food and water. I cannot open cans and boxes for myself the way that humans can. I have paws that help me hold on to my dog cookies and chew sticks, but I do not have hands to open cupboard doors or refrigerator doors. I cannot turn the faucets for my water. I'm happy that mom and daddy love me and never forget to feed me every day. I make grumbling and slurping noises when I'm eating and mom thinks that's very funny. It's hard for a pug like me to breathe when I eat because through my flat little nose, it's difficult. So I have to breathe through my mouth. I also pass gas and burp Daddy thinks I'm pretty funny, but Mum runs for the air freshener to make the room smell nice. Do you ask your parents or vet what food you can feed your pets? Keep your pet bowl filled with fresh water every day and please keep their bowls clean. You would not like to eat and drink out of the dirty dishes. Animals don't like eating or drinking out of dirty dishes either. This is Liberty. That's when she was younger and she's eating, she's drinking out of her bowl. Outing to the pet store. Again, Liberty looks like she has a new toy. Daddy is putting my harness on me. It is evening and it's dark outside. I'm getting ready to go for a ride in the truck. Wait, now Daddy is taking my harness off. Daddy's looking at Mum and showing her my harness. He's laughing and telling Mum, I'm going to have to make Liberty's harness larger. Libby has put on weight and is growing and the harness is too tight on her little round tummy. I was surprised when I could jump up on Mum's lap today. I have grown tall enough to step through the doggy door to the garden by myself. Mum and Daddy are very proud of me. It must be the carrots I ate this week, making me grow. Daddy tries my harness on me again. Good, the harness fits and it's comfortable. We're off to ride in Mum's big red truck. The pet store is full of interesting smells. The pet store has shelves of dog food, cat food, bird seed and fish food. There are little bird cages and fish in big tanks of water. Daddy picks up a large bag of wild bird seed and puts it in our cart. 
The seed is for daddy to put in the bird feeders in the bird, for the birds that come into our garden. We walk up and down the aisles and mum and daddy find my dog cookies. Ah, the dog toy aisle, my favorite aisle. I pick up a squeaky green lizard from the bottom shelves. I trot up to the checkout counter carrying my prized possession in my mouth. The checkout lady wants to put my toy lizard in a bag. So I close my mouth tight around my lizard. I didn't want the lady to put my new toy in a bag. At home, mum plays a game of throwing my toy lizard up the hall for me to chase and we have the best time. If I press hard on my lizard with my nose, I can make it squeak and a rubber tongue shoots out of its mouth. I am now happy and tired, so I go to bed with my lizard beside me. I fall asleep and dream about riding in the truck. I dream it's dark and I'm looking out of the truck window watching the cars go by. The cars look like huge monsters speeding by us with their headlights shining. They look like big terrifying eyes coming through the darkness. But I'm safe inside the truck with my seat belt hooked on me, sitting beside my mom and daddy. Do you play with your pets? Never play rough with your pets or tease them. Your pets could get injured. Remember your pets love and trust that you will always be kind and loving. Play nicely and you will enjoy playtime together. Once more, I will let you see the toy that Liberty picked out. There it is. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. The pugs are still sitting by me. I'm sure if they were awake, they would be happy to say hi to you. But it seems reading their stories today, they've all gone to sleep on their giraffe. There's Pippa. There she is. And there is Ebony Rose. Goodbye till next time.